Hello there and welcome. It is the 28th day of June 2022 and yes, it is another interesting day to bring you the newspaper review right here on TAF TV. My name is Cyril Aloysius and joining me in today's newspaper review is someone who knows a thing or two about politics and that's Mr. Victor Sioku. You're very much welcome to join me, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, before we go straight to the business of the day, we'll go on a short break and when we return, we'll take you straight to our papers for today. Do stay tuned. Hey there, are you looking to record your videos, do your voiceovers and take your professional pictures? Look no further with our state-of-the-art newsroom, photography, kitchen for our food content creators and exclusive children's studio, we certainly can deliver the best studio experience. Our carefully designed studio space can bring your diverse creative content ideas to life. We aim to consistently serve value to our customers far and wide. Come, let Tharv Media give life to your dreams. Tharv Media, a slice of infotainment. Okay, you're very much welcome to join us from that short break. And um, the first paper we shall be looking at is the Vanguard. And the first headline here says, Nigeria, seven others top on high airport charges and taxes on page 19. Nigeria, seven others top on high airport charges and taxes. Okay, that's on page um, 19. On page 13, we have PDP gives OBJ, or passenger 48 hours to clarify remarks on Atiku. On page 13, PDP gives OBJ 48 hours to clarify remarks on Atiku. Okay, and um, next we have self-defense call. Self-defense call. CDS disagrees with CAN. MBF on Zamfara governor. That's on page 8. CDS disagrees with CAN. MBF on Zamfara governor and on page on page 25 we have petrol subsidy it's 2.84 trillion naira in seven months petrol subsidy hits 2.84 trillion naira in 17 months i beg your pardon 17 months and on page 11 we have nigeria's secularity has virtually collapsed according to cardinal on Naya Khan, on page 11, he says, Nigeria's secularity has virtually collapsed. And lastly, we have on page 8, 20, um, we have here 2023 APC disowned documents linking it to 6.5 trillion Naira rigging plants. I go again, APC disowned documents linking it to 6.5 trillion Naira rigging plants. Right, that's the much we can take in the vanguard. And before we move straight now to the Daily Sun, Mr. Victor, I don't know if you have something to say on the vanguard. Okay, um, what's striking news is about the APC planning to use 6.5 billion naira to rig the election. Okay, yeah, um, it's, not, it's still it's uh, not, it's not developing, certain. yeah, certain they yeah, it's, denied it. yeah, it's still developing. And uh, yeah, mind you, we say in our local parliament that, that there's no smoke without fire. Okay, and why I find this very interesting is that I I watched the video on TAF TV where um, there was this uh, compilation of uh, vote buying and rigging during the the last election that happened over there in Ekiti State. Okay. okay, so and from the 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 publication, you find out that the writer said it's six point five billion. The 6.5 trillion naira is supposed to be for paying the security forces, okay. paying officials, both their own officials and the opposing officials. Mind you, in many elections, these uh, so-called opposing officials, they still collect money from the ruling parties. Okay? So the highest be that win then down to the electorate themselves the voters they also provided funds from the report provided funds for the voters mm. it now tells you that if you look back to what happened in akd state you find out that the apc 
that won the the the, the election mm. they spent money they spent money on vote buying you can't tell me that the money just came from nowhere okay it was a planned routine so so, Mr. Victor, let me ask, uh, just like you said, there's no smoke without fire. Should this be a pointer to Nigerians that uh, APC do not mean well for Nigerians come 2023 elections? Well, I won't... Because of what you said. I won't, rush into, conclu I won't rush, rush into conclusion. But, like I always say, vote buying is something that will not just stop immediately. I don't see it stopping before the 2023 uh, general election. Mm. Because... There has to be concrete plans to that. Assistance is too polarized. It's, 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 too, it's too common because the force that are supposed to protect, as in the security operatives, that are supposed to protect mm. the, the rules of the engagement, rules of the game, we are also found wanting mm. in a kitty state. I'm, I'm personally, I, I think vote buying won't stop in the next five to six years from now given the structure of things in the country if the structure of things in the country are actually uh, well in place to ensure that uh, the, the speedy eradication of poverty in the country is, is reduced and probably to a certain level if people are not hungry definitely selling their votes won't come to mind I keep saying this bro it's not just about that and illiteracy as well has has, it's, has its own part to play it's, illiteracy it's, it is not just about that illiteracy because these people think that nothing will happen. Mm. Nothing will happen. They won't, they won't be prosecuted. Okay. Okay. Do we have any reports from what happened in Ekiti State? The ones that were arrested by the EFCC? Okay. So, if the government of today, if they mean business in eradicating or reducing vote buying, which is now um, a cancer to the electoral um uh, processes in the country if they really want to do something about it we should be seeing results mm. not just playing lip service okay so okay get back to let's get back to the details 6.5 trillion if it's true mind you the budget of this country is just 17 trillion dollars and we are talking about 6.5 6.5 almost 50 percent of the budget for rigid an election i just pray this will not uh it will not be so so too but yeah. if it's about budgeting for such this they do even the pdp you cannot shy away from that mm. there are still strong reports that shows that these guys the politicians of today they they, they find ways to mobile out cash find way to bring in a um a double taxations mm. They find a way to go to the street and, 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 and engage the agoros to bring money for their for 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 their campaigns. Okay. So I just pray that uh, it doesn't hit up to that man because that yeah. amount is just too much for for such a. <laughs> we all we all pray, uh, sir. A deal. We we all pray that the news is not even true to start with. Okay, let's move straight now to the next paper for today. That's the Daily Sun, and amongst the headlines in the Daily Sun, we have untold story of cgn's resignation untold story of cgn's resignation that's on page six of the daily sun and on page 27 we have 2023 apc denies budgeting 6.5 trillion naira to compromise INEC by votes that's on page 27 okay we just talked about that and on page 28 we have comments on article PDP Board of Trustees Chair tackles OBJ, threatens to expose ex-president. Okay? Says Atiku as Vice President saved Nigeria from third-term agenda crisis. Okay? That's on page 28. And on page 3, we have Oshun Gober. Oshun Gober. Bayelsa, Bayelsa Governor heads PDP 128-member campaign council. Right, and lastly, lastly, we have insecurity worsening under your watch. Southern and Middle Belt Leaders Forum tells Buhari insecurity worsening under your watch. Southern and Middle Belt Leaders Forum tells Buhari on page 26. 
of the Daily Sun. Okay, before we move straight to the next and last paper for today, Mr. Victor, I don't know which headline interests you. Okay, on two story about the uh, the resignation of now former Chief Justice, uh, Chief Justice yeah. of the Federation. Okay, my brother, like I also say <laughs> during the first comment that there's no smoke without fire. The justice himself, Tanku, Justice Chief Justice Tanku, came out yesterday to resign on the fact that his health was failing him, that he couldn't continue. Okay. Mind you, there was a peak. There was a time that his health issues in quotes got deteriorated and he got better and he didn't resign that time why now why now why now that there is an allegation on his person and on his name on his seat of office okay so you think his resignation from office is down to the fact that there may be a cockroach in his cupboard okay now out of the 16 justices that make up the Supreme Court, 14 out of 16 wrote a memo to say that his leadership has been one-sided, that his leadership lacks administrative, true administrative structure, that his leadership ignores the rights and the services due to the fellow justices but i also tell you this was just about the brother justices as in i mean the 14 justices that came out to write that memo okay. to say oga your leadership is poor now I say, these guys wrote the memo for themselves because of what they perceive or what they feel that he is not doing right, right. to their own persons. We are not even talking in a general knowledge that to the entire justice system, to the entire country. Okay. There are weighty allegations on Justice Tanko. But the justices themselves, the, the 14 justice, uh, justices, we came out to say, okay, this is just about us. We, we don't have electricity. We don't have uh, um, uh, good vehicles. We don't, when making trips, when making trips, we go alone without going with uh, an aid, okay. an aid or a secretary. We just go alone. But your own case, when making your trip, as in, the chief justice, former chief justice, when making your own trip, you go with your family members, you go with plenty of aids. Okay. That is the problem of Nigeria. Whereby, these people, they don't even care about the masses. When they are writing those memos, writing those petitions, okay, it is just about them first, before the poor masses. Mind you, it's always about about them it has always been about them first it's supposed to be about the poor man yes about the, the people suffering but unfortunately, and dying but mr Fisher, unfortunately they don't see it that way unfortunately no. look at what is happening in that electoral system look at it's total shambles mm. total shambles it's a pity okay he's gone and uh, the new man is there so what do you and expect from the new man well, he's um, he's young. That's uh, Ariwala. Ariwala. Yeah. He's young. Kayode Ariwala. He's from uh, Oyo State. He's uh, 63 years old. He got in so quick. He started from uh, becoming a uh, chief justice from the from the, the government of uh, Oyo State. Okay. okay. So do you see him doing moved. better? Oh. Did, did you see him doing better? I hope. But you also check. The judicial system needs to be on check 
not just even on check they need they need total reform mind you the government of um uh, of, uh, of buhari has not even uh will i say has not done so well have not done well with the, the judiciary okay because mind you this will now become the third justice in just seven years it was from onoye mm. mm. that okay during onoye's case there was also a petition okay okay these guys are not telling us they are telling us it's a memo which i understand the name but he also notes that memos are supposed to be internal who then leaked the memo it's still about them it's just the normal thing in nigeria but let's keep that aside now from online it moved from online to tanko mohammed from tanko to um uh, kayo dina hmm. let's also remember that before let's go back to the case of online online was even tried okay to the the the, the, the judiciary uh, council he was tried then he resigned after being found guilty he resigned so now you, in so, case so, you, so, so 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 you do feel that um the former chief justice should have been tried before he was allowed to resign sure sure but he played a smart one and resigned before resigned him. resigned due to ill health. health okay okay that is will also tell you this uh, they just tell us that, that they are too smart they are too smart for the books <laughs> okay but that also tell you that when these people still come and they say like the new um uh, cgn is coming that he's coming to serve nigeria these people in many cases they don't come to serve nigeria everybody they, always they comes come to, to serve, serve actually until they, tell uh, you they come to serve nigeria but they don't at the end of the day it's a okay. uh, majority now I and mean, it's, it's very un un unfortunate that this is this should be about the common it is it is where the common man run to okay mm. but in this case you find out that our justice system our judiciary have they've gone so low that it is now a political space they now do a whole lot of politics out there it's a it's so let's problem, bro. yes let's, let's not do much on that headline let's move straight to our next paper and last paper for today we shall be looking at the nation and amongst the headlines in the nation we have here suspected memory disorder forced ex cjn tanko to quit that on okay the page is not stated here but um it's in the front cover the middle part of the nation where we have suspected memory disorder forced ex cjn tanko to quit okay and next we have tinubu in france for talks Tinubu in France for talks. That's on page 28. And on page 30, we have Oyo Oshun governments to jointly repair 87.7 kilometers Ibado Iwo Road. Oyo Oshun governments to jointly repair 87.7 kilometers Ibado Iwo Road. That's on page 30. And lastly, we have PDP threatens Obasanjo for attacking Atiku. Says, we will expose ex-president, says Board of Trustees Chairman. That's on page 6 of the nation. Okay, that's the much we can take in the nation. And shortly before we call it a day, Mr. Victor, we don't know which of the headlines you want to talk about. Interesting news that I would like to talk about to Tinibu and Obasanjo. Now, for the Tinibu's uh, news, for that, for talks. Okay. For talks. Some says for 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 business. Some says to to go learn policies. Mm. Okay, mind you, it's a time of uh, banters. So when um, Peter B went to to Egypt to go learn about one or two from their from their uh, Ministry of uh, mm. Power as in respect to electricity. So there were there was a whole lot of back, yeah. backlash. A lot of eyebrows were raised. Yeah, yeah. Hey, now why are you traveling now? Oh, he's mm, going to, to strategize now. Mm, mm. A lot, a lot was said. So, um, but in Tinibu's case, unfortunately, <laughs> some persons are there also say that he went for medical leave. <laughs> mm. Okay, so that uh, some are like, uh, 
he's saying that he has developed Lagos, that Lagos, he developed Lagos even in healthcare and all that, but why is he not traveling to another man's country mm -hmm. to get a uh, health uh, 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 services or healthcare services? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that, so that puts a big question mark on uh, his efforts to develop a Lagos. Like, we should not forget that these three candidates, because they are the top runners, maybe Pankwaso should be the fourth. I'm talking about Atiku, um, Tinibu, and Obi, we. then maybe Pankwaso. Okay. But out of these three, you find out that Atiku is used to going for medical trips. Tinibu, same thing. Um, well, I say, fortunately for Mr. B, we've not heard anything about his own side. But mind you, this is Nigeria. And uh, things can happen. Even the ones you trust can just come and just in the snap of the, of the finger. They can mm. just... You just find them on the other... The bad side of the books. Mm. Okay? So, um, we can't overemphasize the importance of making our healthcare formidable. Equipping our hospitals. If we don't have enough... Uh, um, uh, manpower go out there and bring them those doctors that you are going to meet over there can't you bring them down here okay even if it means them working on a shift and one month here one month there and mr vito i know a lot of persons would say um yes he he hasn't become the president here that uh tinubu he's not yet the president so we shouldn't expect him to start uh, correcting the health sector just yet and all that what about i'm asking what about that of legal state Yes, because as someone who's actually contesting, you should be able to, I mean, see your works, how you've been able to uh, revitalize or standardize the health sector in Lagos. At least if you want to handle the whole country, you should have been able to take hold of a particular state. But no. So what do we do if, uh, it's, if the situation is this way? So what do we now do? Because uh, from the look of things, he doesn't look any, any different from the past leaders that, that we've been having. Well, well, like I also say, they've not also made it so clear to say that he went for medical trips, okay? And uh, he's been also suffer he's been suffering from different kinds of uh, um, backlash because of his certificates too. Mm. But there's a whole lot of why going forward. There's a whole lot of news going to come out from the APC camp, okay? Yeah. But let's not all, not just dwell all our time there, please. Also, I was I was also going to mention about. Um, the PDP versus Atiku. Okay. The PDP versus Olusegun Obasanjo. That's PDP plus Atiku versus Olusegun Obasanjo. So what happened? Obasanjo came out to make a report that see, Atiku, I I made the mistake in choosing Atiku as my VP. Mm. And boom, there's a whole lot of uh, quick happening at the PDP's camp. There should be. Okay. So they're giving the former president. 48 hours to correct that to address the issue or or what <laughs> or or <laughs> we didn't say anything they pull out his uh dirty linens and uh, show it to the world you know what i think i think all these politicians they all have dirty linens that they don't want the world to say i'm okay? not surprised about that yes they all do I'm including the that. ones that we think don't have they all do so if pdp are actually making such a threat to so Obas and Joe, I mean, it well, should tell I'm, you a lot. I'm looking forward, I'm looking forward to what happens after 48 hours. Because somebody like Shege, he will not, he, he, he say that he does not say a word, okay? Or he will abuse them. Mm. <laughs> mm. So let's see what happens in the next 48 hours. Yes, let's see what happens next in the next 48 hours thank you so much mr victor for your time thank but you unfortunately sir. this is where we have to call it a wrap thank you, sir. on the newspaper review for today and as for you who has been there faithful to your screen thank you so much for sticking with us up to this very much this time my name is serial alloy issues and don't forget you can also be a part of this discussion if you have any questions or suggestions to make do well to drop your comments and suggestions in the comment section of any of our social media platform and also subscribe to this channel and follow us on all our social media platforms as well on youtube we are tap tv on instagram we are tap tv underscore ng on facebook we are tap tv and on twitter we are tap tv my name is cereal aloysius once again and until we come your way again next time do have a blessed and wonderful day and what a windy day what a windy day what a windy day from what we saw on a windy day bye bye for now